Hi guys, welcome to a brand new week, although it's Wednesday now. Um, I haven't vlogged the last couple of days because they haven't been very exciting, to be honest. Um, I've had a couple of lessons, um, a couple of new ones this week, which has been nice. I don't always take you along to lessons. I wouldn't really film a new lesson just because, you know, some people obviously don't really like being filmed, which is fair enough. Um, and I don't really want to ask, like, on a first lesson, oh, is it okay if I film you? Like, people just don't want a camera in their face, and that's absolutely fine. Some people are fine about it. Some people I ask, some people I don't ask. I just kind of... I try and get one lesson filmed a week if I can. Um, or, you know, at least some sessions um, when I'm working with the horse and the owner's not there. Um, but, yeah, obviously some people it's not for them which is fair enough um yeah so i've done a couple of lessons this morning i went over to work with solo the little rescue welsh pony um he had the dentist today which is his first ever dentist visit and he did so well i was really really proud of him both me and his owner were super proud of how how calm he was and how accepting he was he got a little bit worried a couple of times but he dealt with it pretty well so we were really really pleased with him so i've just got to the yard now i have just got jobs to catch up on today really i need to do some poo picking um i'm going to scrub out the water trough all good fun stuff like that and um, probably not going to work with the horses today might give them a day off i think today um and then start again tomorrow i might bath ginger because it's really hot really really hot but it's really windy as well um so he'll dry quite quickly, which means he might not get dirty again. Maybe. It's the worst thing when you bath the horse and you turn them back out wet and then dirt just sticks to them like crazy. Um, yeah, so I think I might do that and then I need to go home and have something to eat and go to work. So speak to you later. got like one poo in there and now it's trapped down there so I'm hoping that we have some fuel somewhere oh, that was not part of my plan so I don't think we have any fuel which is a bit of a shame so I don't put ginger actually in the wash bay to bath him we're still working on his confidence of being in there he gets a bit claustrophobic a bit worried so I tie him up kind of on this side of it, as you can see, so he's got a little bit more room. He feels a lot safer that way. Um, and we're just working on the wash bay sort of without any pressure of having a hose pipe and a bath and all that kind of stuff. So that's why he's there. have been so bad this year is anyone else having major problems with flies they're so bad even when it's really windy they're just relentless so i think it feels better <laughs>
down some petrol. Happy days. Okay, so we're all filled up with fuel, but now I've got to try and start it, which could be interesting because when it, when you switch it off, you're supposed to put it into neutral, otherwise it doesn't like to start again. And obviously it cut out, so it wasn't in neutral. So, so you have to kind of do a little bit of quad bike whispering with it. So don't know how well this is gonna go. the yard it's about quarter to six I think in the evening um, I've had a busy day today I worked my normal job and just done a couple of lessons but I'm at the yard now I'm gonna go and grab puzzle and have a play with her I'm planning to take her for a walk um, around the big field again today I did it the other day but it was really really windy and she was so good she just had a couple of spooky moments but I haven't had a chance to do it since so I'm gonna do it today and the winds really died down today so that's good hopefully she'll be nice and confident and then I'm going to play with Mr. Ginger as well. And then maybe do a bit of poo picking, seeing what, depending on what the time is. I didn't get it all done yesterday. Um, if not, I'll finish that in the morning. in puzzle in and I've just realized something that I do all the time is that I always like explain excuse me guys I always explain what I'm going to do um, with the horse hang on I'm just gonna get out of the field and then I'll describe it to you because we might have somebody wanting to come with us a hey, young lady Two sec. so what I was gonna say is I always describe what my plan is to the horse and um, so I just caught her and I was like, so Puzzle, how are you today? So what we're going to do today is, and I was like, describing everything that I'm planning to do with her. And my plans are very subject to change because I don't know yet what mood she's in today or, you know, things can change all the time. But I've kind of outlined my goal to her. And I do believe that horses can see in pictures. So if I picture it in my head as I'm describing it to her, she can kind of get a feel for through my energy and through the picture that I'm kind of conveying to her. What we're gonna do? Do I sound crazy? But I've just noticed that it's something I do all the time. She says you're mental. <laughs> which was really cool that was kind of part of the plan kind of not like my plan was see how she goes and then don't jump into me oh it's a scary thing in the hedge okay. um yeah my plan was to get on if everything was okay and do really what you saw in the video because unfortunately by the time I started actually riding um the phone ran out of storage which was a bit annoying, that was my own fault. I meant to delete some stuff before, but then by the time I deleted it and everything, um, I wasn't gonna get off and start trying to set it back up and everything, so yeah. But anyway, we had a little ride and it was really nice, just had a little walk around. I'm gonna need a saddle to do any more on the walk with her because my God, she is bouncy. She's such a forward horse and being a cob, she's just got that kind of action. It's really bouncy. So she nearly broke into trot once and I was like, nah, we're not going there. <laughs> <laughs> be catapulted off so um yeah but she was really good really pleased with her so that was awesome 
Um, it's actually a lot later than I thought it was. I spent a lot more time with Puzzle than I planned to, just because we were having so much fun. And I never even got to walk around the big field. Um, but there was a reason for that. So I started like walking her and we got about halfway up one side and she I really wanted today to really kind of um, look for every sign with her for any tension because she she really does lack self-confidence um, and that's something that I really need to help her with so that's what I wanted to do today really kind of look for any sign in her where she's starting to get a little bit nervous um, and she started that about halfway up one side she just sort of her breathing changed a little bit her head came up a bit she just she didn't look scared as such but she just something changed in her and I was like okay right recognized so we went a little bit further and then she t changed from being a little bit unsure to actually quite nervous um so I stopped her I said okay let's have a bite to eat just here so we had a bit of grass and that helped her relax and then I turned her around and I brought her back and I'm going to do that I think with her for a little while just to help her kind of stretch her comfort zone a little bit so we go to the place where it's a little bit too scary stay there eat for a bit calm down and then go home again and um, I'm just going to kind of test that out with her and see how that works with her because I know that it doesn't work for a horse to just push them past like way past their comfort zone and, and force them to get on with it and I would never expect a horse to do that anyway that's not going to create a confident horse and it's definitely not going to create a horse that wants to be with me and wants to do my ideas because that's just not a very nice person but yeah so now it's later than I thought it's nearly seven o'clock which wasn't the plan <laughs> um so I think I'm just going to do some poo picking and I'll spend a little bit of time with Ginger but I'm not actually going to take him out and play with him I feel quite tired I've had quite a long day and feeling tired and playing with Ginger are two things that should never be put in the same sentence because it's just not a good idea he's listening <laughs> it's not a good idea because he'll be like hmm you're tired this could be fun so um yeah so I might do some jobs tonight and then use the time that I would have been poo picking tomorrow to play with him in the morning Ginger and I have been together for nine years today. Happy anniversary, Gingy. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Can't believe I've had him nine years. Hi, Apollo. <laughs> Can't do anything with one without the other. Can we? Yeah, nine whole years. We were mere children, weren't we, Ginger? He was six, I was 16. Now look at us. All growed up, apparently. I don't feel it. You definitely don't, do you? People still think he's two, <laughs> the way he behaves, don't they? I told somebody the other day how old he was because they were like, oh, is he a youngster? And I was like, no, he's 50. They're like, really? Oh, God, boys. <laughs> Always want to be centre of attention. <laughs> yeah, 15. He says, no, I'm not. Don't tell people that. I'm two. I'm baby. <laughs>